You guys want to see if we can make Tommy laugh? Let's go find out. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. You got something that might make your day. What's that? It'll, it'll make you laugh at least. What's that? <laughs> Huh? Am I a little kid or what? <laughs> yeah. God dang youngsters. Look at this guy buying toys from 7-Eleven. <laughs> All right, so here is that set of the square drive. And what I was gonna show you is, this is a situation where you'd want half inch to drain, and there's a half inch to fill. This is on this Nissan. Frontier. Lucky for us, Shane actually has one in the half inch. This is an old Cornwell one that he got from Jeff from like a long time back. Uh, the reason why you'd want to use these instead of say like this half inch extension is because most extensions have a detent ball and that detent ball can actually dig in and tear the plug up. So you get this style that doesn't have a detent ball on it and that's why you'd want to use them. Just uh, extends the life of the actual plug itself, but beneficial to say the least. first. that vacuum line. Tons of vacuum lines out of there. Okay, let's see if we can just do the tilt thing. All that to get to that right there, knock sensor, and 
where is the rest of the chewed harness is my question. Did it once upon a time ago. Go to here now. That solid, that solid. Let's see. There's the other knock sensor. Chase that. Here's that. So I would imagine underneath all this. Yep. Underneath all this is the rest of our harness. See? That one tucks underneath and goes to the side. So I need to get a pigtail coming. Well, that didn't take that long. Break time. And you're like, oh yeah, we got this handled. And then you spend half the day waiting for your parts to come in. Yep. And then when the parts finally do show up and you're able to do the repair, and then you start cooking and booking because at the end of the day you're trying to get it out. And then what happens? You leave part of the harness underneath the intake and then you got to come all the way back apart. My God, man, I swear to God. Yeah, that was my bad. All because this little pigtail thing here flopped underneath, down there. Everything had to come back apart. <laughs> slow down, bro, slow down. That's her freezer that I turned into a workbench. That's also her freezer. And this is her fridge. All I asked for was one shelf. I can't even get one shelf. Explain yourself. My fridge. What's going on everyone? Justin again, as always. Thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back to the garage. Let's be buds and fill up on some suds. Tap that little beer mug down the bottom right hand corner and it's TGIF Eve. That's right. So we're looking forward to tomorrow night's Q&A. We got a special guest coming on. Nuts and Bolts with Tone is getting ready to join us for tomorrow night's live stream. I'll put his channel link down in the description. Now for some mechanic insight. What we learned today? Gotta slow down. That's what we learned. So look, earlier in the day, things didn't go well with that Ford. The gearbox had some binding issues. It had to be sent back as a defective part. We're going to see the other one until later on this evening or possibly tomorrow morning. So we could not continue with that. Shane had to dip out of work. He had a personal matter that came up and he had to handle it. So we were kind of short staffed. Had another car came in, I had to pull the intake on, right? Cause their knock sensor code popped up. They suspect rodent damage using a bore scope. They saw there was no end of the pigtail going down to it. So it was time for that intake to come off. So I took the intake off. Now I'm on a parts hold. You saw earlier this morning, we had to do a quick drain and fill on a transmission. Got a chance to see those Cornwell square sockets in action. Now that's the half inch drive, which I told you guys, I found a SunX set available on Amazon. And I'll put the Amazon affiliate link down in the description, but this is the set that I'm talking about that I'm gonna get. And you see where it comes in handy for these this style of plug. All right, so we're on parts hold. We're waiting for the pigtail. Time to clean shop. This is something that every mechanic at any shop, doesn't matter if you're top of the top or you're at the bottom of the bottom, everyone has to play an active role in maintaining and janitorial duties of the shop. The biggest one is take the trash out, right? Trash gets full, you gotta take it out to the dumpster. Somebody's gotta dump it. 
All right, another one. What's with the rags, man? a rag bucket. Now I understand if you want to try to clean up a little mess or if one fell out of your pocket or whatever, but what is with all the rags all the time on the floor? I just don't understand that. Pick up your rags. Okay, tools. Tools is another one that's kind of like, yeah, because maybe you were working on something, you didn't get back to it, but some guys will leave their tools right where they are. When they need to use them again, they're there or they maybe will eventually find their way back to the box. So tools, if you, I wouldn't, I couldn't leave my tools just everywhere, right? I mean, I could see if I'm working on something and I got to jump down a bay or two and maybe I leave a couple things there. I've lost a very, very expensive tool this last couple weeks. Now, I don't know what happened, okay? Um, guys at the shop claimed that they didn't have to use it, but my jump pack, that no-co jump pack that I paid 400 bucks for, it's gone. So it looks like I'm going to be eating it because they're like, well, isn't it a possibility you took it home? No. But I didn't see it here. They proclaimed they didn't use it. Maybe it got left in the car. Whatevs, right? So it looks like I'm eating a jump pack. We'll figure it out. Uh, but, you know, if stuff got put back when they were done using it or when I was done using it, probably wouldn't have this problem. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not guilty of misplacing my own crap, okay? I couldn't find my flashlight to save my life today. I knew I only worked on that Ford yesterday. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Was getting frustrated, needed it, right? Was very limited on my flashlight that I needed for the service. I found it next to my bucket. It was actually pressed against the bucket. Didn't even see it, but I ended up finding it. So it's just to give you an idea that, yeah, occasionally I do misplace my own stuff, so I'm not laying it all on anybody, all right? This, this stuff happens. It's an expensive trade. I've told you guys that. You buy expensive things, expensive things go missing, it's irritating, and then you're the one that has to pay for it usually. So it's just the way that it is, I guess. But all right, sweeping the shop, okay? Make sure to sweep the shop. Look, I know that sometimes you gotta throw some kitty litter down or some dirt if you live in the desert area that you can use and take to the dumpster when you're done. But if you're throwing some dirt down, uh, when you're done cleaning it up, put it back in the bucket or take it out to the dumpster. Don't leave just dirt everywhere. There's just dirt piles all over the place you gotta sweep up. Just makes it harder to clean up. Also, if you're taking something out of a box and say it's a part, bag falls out, throw the bag in the trash if you're not gonna use it. I found little plastic bags all over the place. But I digress. Okay, let's get back to the main portion of this topic outside of uh, playing an active role in shop maintenance and, and cleanliness. How about just slowing down? Okay, you guys saw that I got the part in a little bit later that afternoon. I started going back together. We was getting ready to call the customer, let them know it was almost done. And I said, whoa, whoa, don't call them. I got an issue. I got one electric connector left and I'll see the other end to it. And it's to the knock sensor, the same exact reason why he came in to begin with because he had an open circuit going down there. We still got an open circuit. Why? Because the other end of it was buried underneath the intake because I was cooking and booking and trying to get the job done. And I neglected to take the other end of the pigtail and bolt it back up to the top of the intake, right? Because I had separated it so that way I could get down to the harness and repair it. Well, I didn't put it back. So now I had to take the intake all the way back apart. Job won't go until tomorrow morning. I don't have very much left. I was able to fly back through and Put all the stuff pretty much for the most part outside of a couple hoses back together but it is what it is and it just teaches myself the same lesson i've been trying to teach you guys is eh, sometimes you got to slow down i'm not saying go slow okay y'all got cordless tools you got air tools there's lots of things that can make your life easier that can make you faster make sure that if you're taking the harness apart instead of taking the whole thing apart take off what you need to don't take off more than you have to tie it out of the way vacuum lines again take off only what you need to not not extra stuff that you didn't have to tie that out of the way you guys saw that i took the throttle body off you're probably wondering why'd you do that because i didn't want to interrupt the cooling system i didn't want to lose coolant so instead of doing that i just took the throttle body off right real easy you're talking three bolts and a nut that holds the whole thing on there you slide it forward and off intake comes off boom didn't interrupt the cooling system whatsoever 
So there's a few tricks and tips that can make you a little bit faster, but again, when you start getting faster, also slow down just enough to make sure that you're not having to go back through the entire repair all over again because all these tricks and tips don't mean anything if you have to go back through and do the job twice and you still spent the same if not more time on it than you necessarily had to. I just thought this would be an interesting video to toss together for you guys. If you like today's content, make sure to smash the thumbs up, share if you want to share, but don't forget to hit the like button on your way out the door. And again, if you're not already subscribed, be my bud, fill up on some suds, click that little bear mug, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers, and deuces.